George's Rose Revolution in 2003 began far-reaching political and economic reforms to the extent that today Georgia is ranked 12th among 175 countries in the World Bank's 2011 Ease of Doing Business report. With me to discuss the legislative and business environment in Georgia is Revaz Beridze, managing partner at Aristavi Law Group and winner of the World Finance Award for Best Lawyer in Georgia 2013. ELG is also the winner of Best Corporate and Commercial Firm 2013. Rivaz, congratulations and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure being here. Tell us about the post-2003 reforms and what impact that has on doing business in Georgia. It's been almost nine years since Rose Revolution and uh, during these years country made significant jump in reforming the system. Uh, government agencies, their structure was, uh, has been reformed, uh, corruption has been eradicated and uh, uh, all these things are affecting the environment uh, of doing business. And I would especially draw your attention to one of the aspects of all these things, the access to information. And as we all know, access uh, to information is most important thing for businesses. Uh, it's important to, to know where to get information and how to get information. So as a result of the reforms, all information uh, maintained by government agencies have been made publicly available and accessible through different electronic means. The processes have been automated and as a result information generated uh, uh, has been put up through different uh, electronic platforms specially designed for these purposes. So. Yes, indeed, these reforms had a significant effect on the ease of doing business. You mentioned the government's initiatives to increase the availability of data. So the government's move to strengthen ties with the EU is presumably something of which you approve? Uh, yes, definitely. The um, country is um, constantly affirming and reaffirming its desire to move closer to, to Europe. And as a part of European integration process, some year and a half ago, negotiations between European Union and Georgia has started on a signing of deep and comprehensive free trade agreement, which will substitute existing system of preferences, GSP+. As a result of this, uh, uh, this agreement, Georgian manufacturers and producers will be granted free access to a uh, European market uh, with more than 500 million high-income high individuals willing to pay for uh, goods produced in Georgia. Uh, apart from that, the process is in itself is uh, uh, approximation of legislation with European norms and standards. And since uh, European Union is tra trading with other countries in the world with the same standards, it will be good for Georgia not only for trading with European Union, but with those countries as well. And Georgia's progress has increased foreign direct investment. So what are people investing in? Statistics uh, show that, uh, uh, for example, in 2011, top fields for foreign investment were energy, uh, financial services, consulting services, uh, transport and uh, communication, mining, etc., etc. Um, apart from reforms, uh, there were special tools introduced in the legislation to attract foreign direct investments like free industrial zones, free touristic zones, and uh, now this is, these are the mechanisms which allow investors to enjoy incentives, including tax in, uh, incentives uh, for investing in, in Georgia. Um, again, going back to statistics of 2011, uh, number one investor was uh, Netherlands and UK being in the top five uh, investors we're contributing uh, a bit more than five percent of total FDI. Your firm ELG started practicing in 2009. What are your key practice areas? We are a relatively young law firm but um, we have expertise in um, different areas of law so we can provide services to our clients from the very beginning, starting with the legal opinion or due diligence on a specific issue and then helping them set up the company and their operations and provide continuous legal support to, to their daily operations. So uh, I would say that we can provide our services in 
any area which might be interesting for our clients. And a word on the people you represent, what is the typical client profile? Our clients uh, represent uh, diverse uh, sectors of economy. Um, we have clients in energy sector, in mining sector. We have very extensive experience dealing with um, construction. So we have uh, clients in these sectors as well. And uh, taking into account that uh, uh, because of all these reforms, there is increase in foreign direct investments. We see increase in numbers and of our clients and diversity of clients. And what's next? Your strategic vision, if you like, for the next five years? We have very ambitious plans. Um, Last year we, we opened uh, our office in Batumi, which is central area on the Black Sea coast of Georgia. Um, we started construction of our own uh, A-class uh, office building and we're planning to open uh, a couple of more offices um, around Georgia. One will be in Kutaisi, which is a parliamentary capital of Georgia, but uh, one of the most ambitious plans we have is uh, to open an office here in London and we hope to finalize all the issues related with this by the beginning of next year and in the pipeline we're looking at Paris as a potential place to to all to have a representative office there so um, we believe in success. Revas Buritz, thank you. Thank you very much.